In a surprising turn of events, what seemed like an ordinary cyclone in Cairns escalated into a disaster. Initial underestimation gave way to an unprecedented chaos. Two days post-cyclone, torrential rain unleashed the worst floods in a century. See so yeah, this is brown. This is normally never brown. Like, it's been really dry up in Cairns. Got a little bit of green here, but so this brownness, this should, this should just be green. Cairns is a green city. All right, so this is weird. I know there's a cyclone coming, but why is Officeworks so busy? I guess people need torches and batteries and things. Oh, it's gonna be pandemonium. As the storm approached, I ventured into the supermarket, expecting the usual hustle. At first glance, everything appeared normal. The shelves stocked, people milling about. But then, a subtle realization set in. Panic buying surged like a wave. Empty spaces replacing familiar products. It was a surreal scene as the storm's impending threat drove a sudden rush for essentials. There is a cyclone coming. And the last cyclone there was that was here was 12 years ago, and that was a category five. So let's see what happens this time because we have a cyclone coming, Cyclone Jasper, with not just strong winds, but also king tides. Now that is an unusual spectacle. As I gazed out of my apartment window, the atmosphere shifted. Dark clouds loomed on the horizon, a prelude to the impending storm. The wind whispered its warning, rustling through the trees, unsettling the calm. A quiet anticipation filled the air. Then, the first raindrops descended, a gentle precursor to the tempest that flowed. Witness nature's dramatic transformation as the once serene skies surrendered to the raw power of the oncoming storm. No one's, uh, no one's walking about. It's starting to rain more. Uh, the wind conditions are starting to pick up a little bit. As the storm subsided, a sigh of relief enveloped the air. Venturing outside to assess the aftermath revealed a fortunate lack of substantial damage. However, just as optimism set in, a persistent rain began to fall. What started as a gentle shower soon evolved into an unyielding downpour, defying expectations, adding a new chapter to the post-storm narrative. Look at those trees getting blown around. I've never seen waves coming in like that. Not, not in cans. In the aftermath of the relentless rain, Cairns faced unprecedented crisis. For two days, unyielding floods, fueled by king tides and a formidable storm surge, inundated the city. The northern beaches bore the brunt, leaving thousands stranded, homeless and grappling with the loss of electricity and water. This, the worst flood in Cairns in a century. 
has left the community facing a daunting task to rebuild and recover. The beach has been eroded away 